Hi guys, so I'll just put this Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I found this really glittery Christmas New Year's night out look and I've just paired it with a really nude lip gloss but you could also do a red to make it more festive. So if you want to see how I created this please keep on watching and make sure you subscribe. Hi guys, so I think today I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette again just because it has all the colours I need in it. So I've already done my eyebrows, I will link my brow tutorial up above and I've just put select cover up all over my eyes and even down the bottom. So first of all I'm just going to go in with this shade here just as a little bit of a transition and I do want this to be really smoky so I'm going to be going round in a circular motion but I'm just barely touching my eyelid. And I'm also keeping the majority of the product right in the middle because that is where you're going to see the most. And just lightly feathering it into my inner corner. And just keep buffing away the edges. You want this to be really seamless, you want it to be a really seamless blend. And I'm just going to keep applying that product, just build it up as much as possible. So this is the first kind of sit down talk through video I've done in a while. Um, I have posted two Christmas videos which I will link down below. Um, they're really short but I just think they're really effective and I've just not really had much time just with Christmas coming up. And then I'm just bringing it right under and make sure you look up during this so it doesn't irritate your eyes. And I'm making sure I've got a kind of circle C shape round here just because we do want it to be really smoky. And I think I'm going to use some glitter today as well. Just because I've not really used much. Well, I have used a lot of glitter, but I want this to be really dramatic. So now I'm just going to go with this shade here. This is really similar to MAC Nylon, and it's an amazing brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. So I'm just popping that in my inner corner. And the reason I'm doing this now is just so it blends in nicely with the other shadows we're going to put on top and it's not too obvious. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Yeah. It's just a kind of ready toned brown. And I'm not worried about it getting onto the crease because we are going to cut it out. And this brush is a Morphe M573. It's just, you can see it's quite pointy, it's really good for getting into the crease. And then I'm just going back in with that original brush which is an M502 just to blend out my edges. And I'm doing this really softly just so it isn't too harsh on the eye and it isn't being too harsh on the blending. And I'm just going to keep going in with that same colour till I get it as intense as I want it. Again sticking with the rounded shape, we don't want any gaps. So I have no idea when this video is going to go up. But I really do want to do a few more kind of key of Christmas looks. Obviously, Christmas is in. I'm filming this on Tuesday the 12th, so Christmas is in 13 days. I am so excited. I feel like I just. I'll always be excited for Christmas, no matter what your job. Like, I don't understand people that never get excited. I feel like I'm going to be like 70 and still be excited for Christmas. I really need to get in a chair. This chair is like killing my back. So now I'm going to take this deep chocolatey brown down here. Just to darken it up a little bit more. And I'm taking this on an M514. 
So I'm mainly focusing this just on the outer corner and I'm bringing it in also because we are going to cut the crease and just putting it right in that crease. This is almost like a black, it is really dark. And then again, I'm going to with my previous brush just to, oh no, just to blend it out. And these eyeshadows pretty much blend themselves, they are amazing quality. And then again, just under the eyes. And I'm keeping this more so on the outer corner. Just because if we bring it right in, it's going to really close off the eye and we don't want that. So now I'm going to go in with a teeny little brush, this is an M506, which is really small. And I'm going to take the black just to further intensify it. So I'm just dotting it right on the outer corner and bring it slightly in. And I'm not bringing it right in because again it'll close off the eye. Now I'm just going to take a slight cover of hair and this is an NW15. And I'm just going to cut out the inner portion of my lid and the brush I'm using for this is a Zoeva 144 brush, it's just really flat and makes it 10 times easier. So I'm starting in the centre of my lid and just working my way up. And I do cut the crease above my crease just because I have quite heavy eyes. Because I'm using glitter, you don't really have to do this step. I'm just doing it for a rough guide. Just to get that shape in place. And then I'm patting it just because this will set the concealer. And I'm using my NYX glitter glue. And I'm just putting that right over the concealer. I'm just using a flat brush just to pack the glitter on. So this is more of a kind of toned down gold. So once I've done that, I'm just going to pat over it with my finger to make sure it's right into my eyelid. And then again, my big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go around the edges. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe gel liner, this is in shade Slate, and I'm just going to line my water line. So I'm not actually going to put any black on my lower lash line just because I don't want it to be too over the top, I want it to be quite wearable at the same time. So that is the eyes finished and I'm going to go do my full face just because you just see me do my full face all the time and I will link my base makeup in the little eye up here and I'll be right back. Hi guys, so this is the final look. I've just added some really dramatic lashes. These are Doll Beauty lashes in the style Samantha. If you've not tried Doll Beauty lashes, I really recommend them. They're really cheap but the quality of them is amazing and they're so nice. And they're really easy to apply as well. And on my lips I just popped on some... Anastasia undressed lip gloss. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please make sure you subscribe.